Right, we have got a new charger to charge the VW Buzz. We will try it on the Tesla. So we will do a test. We've now got three chargers, a Rolex single phase, a Tesla three phase, which we've unlocked, and we will have the Zappi three phase. And we will charge the Tesla and we will charge the ID Buzz on them to see how many miles per hour they charge out. It's sad days, isn't it, Ben? When you used to talk about miles per hour, we used to drive our minis around, it was all exciting how far, now it's how fast you can get the electricity in the damn thing. Right, this is our zappy, this has just come, we haven't unboxed it yet, have we? Right, oh. right I can't get in the box, Ben. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Right then, so we've got, look, my energy, I've got serial numbers, technical support, that's cool, isn't it, QR code. Look, we've got leaflets going on everywhere. Probably too many leaflets, really, for an eco thing. But but there we go. It's going to tell us how to we'll get our electrician around. Mr. Peacock, the electrician. Right then, look at that. Woo! So that's the different colour covers you can get. We went for white because we're pure. And it matches the buzz, doesn't it? And the Tesla. Yeah. We've got a whole white car thing. Right, we got that. What have we got in here then? Oh, I reckon them be screws or fixings. What's the chance of us losing these if I open it? Pie. <laughs> Height. There we go. We've got a whole feast of raw plugs and hopefully stainless steel screws and bits and pieces. They're UK made, apparently, or UK company at least. Right then. To maintain product warranty. Oh, look. Oh, my goodness. To maintain product warranty. Blah, 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 blah. Right. What have we got? Oh, Ben, we've got stuff in here. We're looking for the CT clamps, aren't we? Let's have a look what we got here. Ah, CT clamp. So that is a current transformer clamp. And we're going to whoop that. There's a little door on it there, look. And we're going to whip that round, round one phase of the incoming power. And as the power goes through, this, this measures the current going through and is going to plug into our Harvey. It can plug directly into this. Right, let's put that on that. Oh my goodness, it's got a tether. Right then, what's that? It's like a hat for it or something, aren't it? It's like a, a halo. Right then, so this should be another current transformer. Two, and this should be another current transformer. Bam, three. If you've got a three phase installation, you're gonna need three of those. Right then. Right, so we have a halo, and then, and then the charger. There you go, that looks all right. We'll have a look when uh, Peacock does his install. We'll, we'll show you the install setup. But I guess we've got cable entry points. We seem to have a series of cable entry points. I guess you could, could you flush mount it? It's not really designed to be flush mounted, is it? Sorry. It looks like it needs to just be on that surface there. Of course, could you run the uh, cable around it? Yeah, I'm getting there, Ben. I'm getting there. Right, so let's have a look. So we've got a, a nice shiny type two cable. That's all good. So that's not right. Now, where's the other box we got, Ben? So that's the Zappi. Now, this is the Harvey. Now, I guess we, if this was installed close to your main incoming, where your three phases come into it, you could just run those straight to that. But this is trickery. This, apparently, oh, look, it's open. Here we go. So we've got three little holes here. I guess those three wires from those come in. And here we go. We have got current transformer one, two, and three, and we've got some nice little spring-loaded connectors there. Look, doop, doop. So we can feed those in. I can install this close to the incoming, which is over that side of my building, and then we can fit this. Now, apparently this is gonna talk to this wirelessly by witchcraft and wizardry and say, um, no, we're sucking power from the grid. That's expensive, that's ex And it'll go, whoa, the sun's come out. We're now firing energy back into the grid and those energy companies are giving me poop all for it so might as well shove that into the car so that's the plan um that we are gonna do with this so we are gonna get our zappy and our harvey installed so let's ring mr peacock the electrician we'll get him to do that dangerous bit i think i'm safe with the current transformers but the really clever thing about this is that it actually sucks a little bit of power off this 
to power this. So there's no power supply, no batteries. It actually really clever. It parasitically sucks power off the current transformer, as well as measuring how much current it's using. It goes, I'll have a bit of that for myself. Um, that is really clever. So we'll mount ne next to the meter, and then we'll do our product test on all the different chargery things. Why don't you join us at our main incoming master control. So our main electricity, where does it come in? It comes in on this wire here. Um, now, what have we got in terms of import export meter? There's our three, it goes through the three incoming fuses, goes into the import export meter, and then it goes through our main shut off switch and it comes down here. So this is our main incoming. Now, here we've got the solar meter. So this is what's being generated. But actually, these are my main incomers. So what is going, if it goes out that way, it's going back to the grid. If it comes in this way, it's coming into the building. So that's what we need to get these. Now, have they got a direction? Oh, it's got a picture of a house on one side and a picture of a power grid on the other. You got that, Ben? So I think that's that's the grid side and that's the house side. And that's the direction of travel when when you haven't got any solar. So your power is coming from the grid to your house. So I want that coming from the grid, pointing upwards there. Now look, we've got four wires here, live one, live two, live three, and neutral. So we need it on these three here. So that's, that's one. Right, again, so we need the, the grid at the top. That's two. All right, make sure they click. It doesn't, they don't need to be next to each other. It can hang up there. And Fleming's left hand rule, wasn't it? Force field current. Right, the grid at the top on there. All right, and that one, that one will sit down there. That one can sit up there. So we've now got three of these and we can run these wires to wherever we want to put the Harvey. Right, so we've got those three. They pass through this grippy stuff, and it's quite, you've got to give them a bit of a tug to get them through. But then, if you look, they're sort of bigger at the top and smaller. So once you've got them in, you can give them a little shove down. And like, like just push them away from you. And they, they grip into the, and so you've got a good, if anyone tugs on those, they're not going to give you a problem. So, right, I'm ready. CT1. So I'm going to push that and I'm going to push down with my fingernail there. Okay, give it a little tug, check it. And this is as easy as that. So push down with my fingernail. We've got our fingernails for this job. CT2. Put that one there. Push down with your fingernail. A little screwdriver alternatively. There you go. So let's have a look. So you'll notice you've got these two holes on one side and you've got two holes on the other, and I'm gonna, that's it, yeah. So you want, I guess you want it that way, so that's going out the bottom. And then I guess we just snap that closed. Now, we've got some flashing going on now, so bear in mind there's no battery in this, there's no mains power, it's just gonna suck the power out of these, non-contactly, so that's all ready to go. now. Right, here we got the car guys have come, Peacock Electrics, and installed the Zappy Forest. Probably a bit low, but I wasn't here. But we'll gloss over that. So think about that, because there is a screen, as you'll see in a minute, on it. But let's just have a look before we put the front cover on. Um, let's just have a look what we've got going on. So we've got it on a 32 amp three phase breaker inside. It's off at the moment, so I'm pretty safe. So we've got the cable coming in that the guys have installed. Now, they've got this clever cable that's got your three phases and neutral and earth and they've also got a um a data cable coming in now if you'd hardwired your cts because this the other side of this wall if we had our main incomer and we could put the cts but we're using the harvey with the remote cts we could wire those up and then you've got your ct one two three connection connections here i mean just looking around, I can see that there are some internal CT clamps here that's telling the board what's happening. We've got some sort of circuit protection going on here. And then here you've got your output coming out to your Type 2 cable. You've got a ribbon connector here that goes onto the screen. So I think we're all good to go. So 
interestingly, there's no place that I can see to hardwire. I'd have happily hardwired Ethernet and RJ45 connector in here, but that option is not available. Um, there is some interesting stuff in the instructions about you're not supposed to use a Harvey for one of the grid CTs, which is, I guess, is to is to sense whether the power has failed to the to the property or not. Um, but there's no way we can do that. So they sort of said, don't do it, but do do it. So the instructions are a bit odd in that regard. Right, so before everything blows away, oh, it's all blowing everywhere, Ben. It's all going, right, so let's just put the cover back on here. So you've got a little, they say make sure you've got this rubber seal in here. You've got all the bits of paper, yeah. Ben, well done. And then you've got this connector. Now, it's got a little rib on one side. It's got that little rib there. And that goes in that little hole there. So we can make sure we don't get that the wrong way around. Let's put that in. Give him a press and a wriggle. The screws are quite good. Look, they don't fall out. I like that. I'd have lost those. Right, hold on. We don't want to. We don't want to make sure you don't get the cable twisted like I was about to. Right, we're all cool now. Right, so let's put that back on there. Right. So, right. So we've got the Harvey. So. Apparently now what we've got to do is power this up and we've got to set this as master. But it says it should come as master by default. But the Harvey said, don't turn the Harvey. They can't know who's the master and who's the slave, apparently. So we'll get this tightened up and then we'll we'll join you. You can power it up with us. Again, we're not professionals. We've never done this before, but we're giving you the sort of novice first-hand experience reaction to this. Right, I was just tightening this up here. Um, I've used a manual screwdriver, not a power screwdriver, and I've gone to tighten this one, and this one is just spinning and spinning. So I don't know whether that's, but don't do one of these up with those, because I think, I think I'm not sure, I think we may have stripped, me, we, I think the electricians may, or it may have been manufactured. Um, for those of you, you can change the colour of your zappy skin, there you go, that matches the buzz, doesn't it Ben? And if you want to remove it, there's some little clips under the bottom there, look. So that sort of snaps into place. But if you want to remove it, you've got to get in under there. Bush, bush. Right, Ben, you stay there. I'll go and power it up, see what it says. Right, round to my fuse board. You can see Ben, but you can hear me. Right, flick the fuse on. Bam. Right, what can you see? Right, so we've got to try and set it up as a master, Ben. So let's have a look. It's got, has it got a set up wizard, has it? Set up wizard. Is this, this being installed in England, Scotland, or Wales? Oh, how do we go, right, yes. Which one's enter? It's gotta be plus, I Gotta be plus. Right then, set up wizard. Use the initial installation of this unit. Right. Was this installed before the 30th of November, 22? Right. Yeah, do you reckon it's gonna give me, or should we select yes? Well, we'll, I think we'll say yes. All right then. Okay. Please select. Is this device the first device installed? Yes. All right. The device is master. V hub enabled. All right. Yes to confirm. All right then. All right. Wi Fi setup. All right. So we've given up with the Wi Fi. Now we were looking for an RJ45 port in here for the wired network we couldn't find one for looking um turns out they've hidden it on the back of the board there look oh, where's that when we're looking at that one there in the middle of the shop so that's where you have to plug your wired network in so i have just put in a network cable we're going to make that off so we've got permanently now i did speak to someone ian and ian said to me he's read that if you're going to use a zappy the wi-fi is a bit flaky so if you can wire the badger into your router so we'll get that going network cable all connected ribbon cable back on obviously again make sure you've got power off if you're messing about doing any of this stuff right i'll just put some silicon around that hole and then we can put that all back together all right we've got it powered up let's have a look if we can go into the settings again i'm not an expert on this but let's go in there down to other settings plus for enter let's go down to internet Plus for enter, and let's just go on Ethernet, enter, okay, so there's my MAC address, okay, 
So let's have a look. It's got itself, it's been assigned an IP address. It's got, yeah, it's got the DNS, that all looks good. Right, so that looks like we're all good. So we're all, so we've got internet, which is good. Um, so what can we, let's go back to there now. So I've just got to go up and do the time and date. Now actually, let's see if it's got that now. Let's go back to the home screen. With it being on the internet, you would think it would pull the time and date in, which it hasn't because it's it's not that now, I can assure you. So that's kind of annoying. Um, so let's just go in to other setting. Okay, time and date. Okay, so I'll set those. Um, so I've set it. Interestingly, it's got this update from cloud is on, but it maybe it was going to take a while to do that. Oh, thunder and lightning. All right, let's go back. Okay, so on the Zappy, we need to turn off the current transformers that are inside this device because it's going to use the Harvey. So we need to go in here, and I'm making all this up. All right, and then we go into the other setting, and then we go into advanced. And then we go in to CT config here. Okay, and then it's not the internal one, it's this one here. So even though these are sort of internal, it's not the internal one. It's it's a little confusing the way they've done that. But yeah, if we go on CT1 here, and then if we enter again, so we can change from grid, which is measuring the supply. We want to be using the Harvey on, on my setup. So I need to create that to none because the Harvey's gonna give it all its things. So if I enter that and go back, and it changes them all to none. So I've got all none here. And interestingly, this red light's come on now. So I thought it would be worth um, updating the firmware. So I've just gone on download. So it's downloading a new soft firmware update for me. So it's not going that quick. You can see it 2.8%, okay. Oh, it is taking a while, but I'm enjoying, oh, there you go, 3.8, we're in, enjoying a thunderstorm here at the moment. I'm in at the weekend, getting this set up. Boosh. So after you download the firmware, you've got to go on the bit that says install firmware, and it's, there you go, it's doing that. So I'm on at version 5.044. There we go, so we're all good. So we've got internet. Um, right, we now need to see that I'm on, I'm set as a master. So let's have a look. Let's go in advanced. The password was enter, 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 enter. And then it's supply grid. So linked devices. Okay. So, yeah, so this is set as a master. You can see here, master set. Okay, so I should better now go and get that Harvey going. Here we go. Press on the Harvey. One, two, three, four. I'm looking for a blue light. Five, six, there you go. Seven. One blue light and then it should start flashing red. Okay, put that down gently there. Right, let's go out to the zappy. So we've got two minutes to do this. So I need to go back from here and I need to go up to linked devices. And then let's go into that one. So let's go on to pairing mode, searching for slaves. Now that would be right, because it's a master, and it's on channel one. Ah, now this was where the blue flashing light, one blue flashing light meant you're on channel one. So it's on channel one. So now the question is, will it in my warehouse? So this is mounted outside on the wall of my big warehouse here, and my incomer is right the other side of the warehouse. It's not a million miles away. It's it's through the door there. It's on that back wall over there. So let's have a look if it can find its signal. This could be the problem. What has it found? It's searching for slaves. Yeah. It's not finding any slaves these days. What's going on? So no joy, it didn't find anything. Now I've tried channel two and I'm now trying channel three. I'll show you how to set up channels, but I have a feeling it's not going to find anything. I have a feeling because it's bolted on this metal wall. Um, so that's a bit tricky. Obviously, I've got the income on the other side. I mean, most of these units are going to be bolted externally. It's almost like it should have 
an internal area or something that you could put back through the inside because I don't think this is going to find it. But let's keep going. Channel three is not finding anything. Let's go and try channel four. Right, so to change the channel, you press and hold the button and you'll get one flash, which means it's in pairing mode on channel one. Then you'll get two flashes, which means it's pairing mode on channel two. Then three, which means it's channel three. Then four. Right, okay, so that's now in pairing mode. I've even tried sort of resting it up high in the warehouse here so it gets slightly better reception. Um, I've got the whole length of these going, um, but we're not doing very well at the moment. Let me just prop that up there. Well, perseverance pays off. We got to channel seven, and obviously they've put seven channels on for, or eight channels on for reason, and it's found it. So there we go. Channel seven is Harvey. Right, devices. Right, so if I just go to devices, I get seize the Harvey now, and then I can ship it a press add on it. I can see it. What's it doing to it? I should be able to just press add. Link devices, Harvey, type single phase. Well, it shouldn't be a single phase, but let me see if I can go down, type and a three phase, that's better. All right, so we've got a Harvey. It's still got a, maybe it's not getting any data off it yet. So link device Harvey, three phase. Right, yeah, and if you, where it's got readings there, if you go there, you can see, so for CT clamp one, two, three, you can see the, the current. So now that should be all exporting. Um, so that's all good. It's a sunny-ish day today and we've got no one in. So, so they should be, but it doesn't tell me, it's not clear whether they're importing or exporting. So that'd be interesting to see. It says page one of two. How do I get page two of two? Readings, two of two, power. Ah, so there you go. So the power is negative. So I've got negative, there you go. So I've got negative like three kilowatts on, on each phase there. So that's what I need to be powering the car with. So this is looking good. We are getting there slowly. Right, one thing I've got to set up next is the app. So I'll put a screenshot of the app up. So once you've downloaded the app, you've got to register. I'll put a screenshot of that up. And then you've got to enter the serial number. Now, this is where you need to go back into here. You need to go back into the main thing and you need to go on it. you need to go up to the information one and I need some serial number. So it's on page two. So say that's page one of five. I need page two of five. Interestingly, you go down to get from one to two. Um, right, let's have a look. Serial number is this one here, the 217. And the registration code is the 161. So I need to enter those into the app now. So after setting the Harvey to three phase, we also need to go and set what 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 each type is. So it's generation grid. We need it on grid because it's on the grid incoming grid. Okay, and all three have gone to that. So that's good. So we can go through. So when you go into your Harvey, you should see three phase grid. There you go. Now you can see the um you can see all the current linking on that. And if you go down to menu two, you can see the power. So the power is is negative because we're exporting. So we got like four or five kilowatts. Interesting how it's quite different on each phase. Look, you can see that, that one's four, one's 4.8 kilowatts. One thing we're hoping to do is balance those phase differences with the, with the Zappi on the export. That's cool. Now it's all set up. You can see the arrows going from the sunshine into our factory and then from our factory into the grid. So this is cool. So we should be, and look, you can see we've got 13 kilowatts going, even on an overcast day like today. So that's going to be cool. If we can put that 13 kilowatts into a car, we are home and dry. 
Okay, so I'm going to leave that there today. The next thing is to get the car on it. So that's setting up the Harvey, unboxing the Harvey and the Zappy and getting them going. It's a little bit painful. Um, it's not exactly plug and play with swapping all those channels and pressing buttons and what have you. But, and, and finding the network and doing that internet pairing Wi-Fi thing that I gave up on. Um, but we're there and it's cool and where we're on the home screen and the app is working. I'll put a screenshot of the app. You can see I've got some basic readings for that coming. So, right, we're happy. Just need to get the car stuck on it now.